go down. All right, we're going to continue our media availability now with Greg Biffle, driver of the number 16 Ford Pass. Ford Fusion this weekend here at Kansas Speedway, and he is joined by David Laughlin from the U.S. Ford Pass team. Greg, let's let's start with you. You've been with Ford for quite a while now. Ford Pass is now the latest, joins EcoBoost. I know you've run that paint scheme. Ford Pass is the latest. You've seen a lot of innovation. Just just talk about what you've seen from Ford and now this, this Ford Pass. Well, I've seen a tremendous amount of uh, technology and, and behind-the-scenes stuff from Ford, and probably one of the uh, most impressive things I saw was the, um, you know, I'm a truck guy, so I see the back assist on the, um, you know, the F-150, and then, you know, then I get, uh, then I see the uh, Ford Pass uh, app, and uh, I've been reading about it and, and seeing all the cool stuff it does, and it's just another step of, uh, of innovation from Ford, and it's pretty exciting to see that the things that you'll be able to do and connect um, the world of today is all about connectivity, you know, what, what's everybody doing, and, and we're, we're all married to our smartphone, and, and to be able to, you know, make our life easier, you know, I know one thing that, that is a complete pain is trying to, you know, schedule a car to go do something, or, you know, uh, I just found out about the, uh, you know, I've read, I saw about the parking, but I didn't know exactly how it worked, and, you know, that's one of the things I dread. I'm thinking about going downtown to a Panthers game, and you know, I got to drive in all that traffic, and I got to find a place to park, and I got to do everything else. And so, with this, you know, I'll be able to, uh, you know, get a parking space and navigate straight to it through the vehicle uh, navigation, all the cool things. So, um, all the stuff it does and it's going to do in the future is pretty neat to uh, to see that um, Ford's going to be the leader in, in that uh, in that area. All right, David, Greg, Greg mentioned some of the things that Ford Pass can do, but, but you would be the guy to ask the, the specific question to tell everybody what exactly is Ford Pass. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Uh, Ford Pass, as Greg mentioned, is our new uh, mobile experience designed to connect customers with their vehicle, with their preferred dealership, and directly with Ford. Uh, Greg mentioned some of the great features. Customers are able to schedule service appointments through Ford Pass, view key vehicle information. Um, the parking where you can pre-reserve parking in selected cities prior to traveling um, as an everyday driver or traveling to a special event. Um, and if the customer gets stuck anywhere along the road, we have a team of Ford guides that are there to assist customers with all their uh, mobility journeys. Everything in Ford Pass we have is designed to improve the overall experience of being a Ford owner and make uh, our Ford Pass members' lives easier. Awesome. And is there a certain way that, that, that people can get the Ford Pass system? Yeah, Ford Pass is a free download through the Apple iTunes Store or through Google Play, and we encourage all Ford owners to download it. This is an app that will make their lives easier and make their journeys every day easier from point A to point B. All right, good deal. This will also serve as Greg's uh, regular uh, media availability as well, so if anybody has any questions for either Greg or David, go ahead and raise your hand, and we'll get a microphone out. We'll start right here with Kenny Bruce. Kenny Bruce with NASCAR.com. First of all, for Dave, it's a free download, but is there like a monthly fee nope. or any of that? Ford Pass is a, is a free app to the consumer, um, and we encourage everybody, as I mentioned, it's available for free through Apple iTunes or Google Play. It's available on for uh, most of the smartphones out there for our Ford owners. So you say it, it'll tell you, like, I know like with uh, my Carfax, it keeps all the information on my vehicle, tells me when what my last mileage was, it, when I had oil change, when my registration's due, stuff like that. I'm assuming it's similar to that, only more detailed. With it, it's similar to that. It does go into more specific detail. For example, through your My Vehicle tab, um, I have a 2015 Edge. It'll tell me all the service history I have on that Edge. Um, through an algorithm we use with the motor company, we can predict the mileage. It'll tell me it's got my warranty information in it as well. Mm -hmm. Just fantastic information, and every owner should have it. Okay. For Greg, uh, can you talk about your practice this morning, how that went, how your weekend's looking, if you guys are faster here than you were last weekend, if there's a reason behind that or anything? Yeah, well, that's a mystery in itself, why, why we're faster this weekend and, and we weren't last weekend. Um, 
you know, it's it's been a bit of a struggle for us uh, this season. But on the bright note, we're uh, we've got good speed here, and uh, we're happy with that. Um, you know, historically, as the track rubbers in, um, you know that that's affected our speed a little bit. So off the truck on Fridays, we've been pretty. Uh, some racetracks we have pretty good speed, but here we have uh, better speed than normal, and uh, we do have a few updates on our car from uh, aerodynamics and geometry and things. So uh, we're hoping that that's uh, you know playing a factor in why our cars are. Um, you know, better than than uh, we have been. And I feel like we're better than we were here in the spring and exactly opposite last week. You know, last week we ran 10th to 13th the whole race, had a had a good run, qualified sixth. And then we go back and and, you know, car didn't have the speed and, and we really struggled for speed all weekend. And uh, it's really, you know, that was mind boggling for us why um, that condition existed. And then this week, you know, kind of a turnaround again. So. We're, we're happy that the car's got speed. Um, you know, I feel good about qualifying coming up that we can, uh, you know, we're real close to making that final round on speed. So we'll see where we end up. But I'm, I'm looking forward to the practice tomorrow. Um, race, we haven't been in race trim yet. So, um, but off the truck, it's the first time probably in two years we didn't change anything, all three runs, nothing. We didn't change tire pressure. We didn't change a wedge bolt. We didn't move anything. Made three runs, did not touch it. So right out of the truck, it's exactly how it's sitting. Is that a new car? Uh, no, this is not a new car. Let's go back here to Lee. Lee Spencer Motorsport.com. Greg, can you kind of size up what your relationship has been with Brian Patty this year and if he's the guy that you thought he would be coming in? Yeah, I mean, definitely uh, uh, Brian and I have a good relationship and, and uh, you know, I mean, you're always hoping for miracles, right? And, you know, we, we needed some, we needed some intervention, you know, we needed to go in a different direction at, at our company and, um, you know, try and bring some outside information in. And, uh, you know, Brian's a single, you know, guy and only able to bring so much information with him. Uh, we did add a few other uh, engineers throughout the and mechanics, but um, he has, I think, overall made an impact for all the teams. Um, you know, and I think that was clear at the beginning of the year. Um, you know, and he can't run everything. And, uh, you know, I think that in the middle of summer, we, we may have gotten behind a little bit on aero uh, development, and some of the other teams might have been a little better than we have. But Brian has done a tremendous job on the team itself. Uh, a lot, it's taken up till now for him to really get integrated into the Roush Fenway system. You know, how we operate. We had a lot of pit crew uh, challenges and pit stops and things in the beginning. And um, our company runs a little bit different than places he's been in the past. And Brian's, uh, you know, stepped up to the plate and, you know, really helped us, uh, you know, all around. So I think he's been good for uh, our team and good for the company. It just was a little slow start for us, you know, to, to get uh, gelled together. Uh, we worked together a long time ago. I think Brian and I saw eye to eye. It was just a matter of getting integrated into the, you know, uh, um, our simulation and, and process and car builds and, you know, people and management and all that stuff. Took, took a little bit to get going because it's, it's a whole lot to undertake you, you said when you signed your last contract it would probably be the last and you are you still feeling that way or is there some renewed sense that you have that you might want to keep the train rolling well if i talk to you after the race sunday in here then maybe that'll be a little inspiration but um you know i want to be competitive and win races run on the top 10 and that's that's my goal that's my focus and uh if i'm not doing that then then i'm probably going to do something different so you know that's uh i i spent a lot of time you know won a lot of races and running in the top five and top ten and that's you know we you a race car driver knows understands he's not gonna run there every weekend you know that's obvious you know carl edwards jimmy johnson 
Um, I, and actually, I get some humor out of um, some of the other, uh, you know, when you listen to media or, or TV, you know, about, oh my gosh, you know, Jimmy's, you know, they're, the sky's falling in or, you know, they're terrible. He hasn't, you know, hasn't won in so many races or something like that or top fives, top tens. So, you know, I, I'm used to being kind of in that situation or whatever and it's uh, standing outside looking in. It's where you want to be and that's where you want to compete. So, I don't, you know, if I'm competing at that level, then, then I'm going to keep doing this. Any additional questions for either of our guests today? No? All right, Greg. Well, good luck. Thank Hopefully that too. Ford Pass Fusion ends up in victory lane. And, David, thank you so much. Greg will be demonstrating and talking more about Ford Pass on Sunday at the Ford Consumer Display.